this finish. Love this palette before I really interrupt it again. Anyway, as I was saying, it is a six color eyeshadow palette <laughs> with the blushes at the bottom. I was I used this palette before, so um, it's, it looks like this. You guys didn't get a chance to see this part of the video because I guess my camera had cut out or I just thought that I was recording or something or what, but I actually wasn't. So, um, I'm just going to show you now the steps that I used and everything that I did um, to lead up to the point that the video was going to pick up on, if that makes sense to you guys. I want to apologize to you for not picking that up or paying better attention to the video not being recorded, but... Um, Anyhow, I carved out my brow using the can't stop I use this to set my eyes and carve out my brows. And this is in the shade Golden Honey. And it's it Nick's Can't Stop Won't Stop. Um this is the shade I use for my transition shade. And it's a blush, and it's very muted. It's not very pigmented. It's almost it's a really it'd be a really pretty blush. Okay, and then the next shade I went into after uh, my blush <clears throat> was this shade right here, and I deepened up my with this baby right here with this shade right here. And then after that, after I um, put a little eyeshadow base on there on my eyes to um, to hold the pigment that I was getting ready to place and even also for it to pop, this is the shade that I use that's on my eyelid. And it's that pink right there. Eyeliner I used was the LA Colors liquid eyeliner, and that, um, that's about three bucks at the dollar store. Use that. The lashes I have on are from AliExpress, and I will have the the style that they are in the description box below. The lips, the lip combination that I have on is. Um, This video is actually not it's not meant to be or intended to be very long, but y'all know how things happen when you sit down and record and stuff, especially when you have a family who <coughs> looks for you. Anyway, I use this for a lip liner, and this is the Kat Von D, and I want to say, I actually forget the name, and I forget it on purpose because I didn't like the name of it, but I did like the shade range. <laughs> And then I use this for my lipstick, and this is the Cashmere Cream from BH Cosmetics. And this is in the shade. I guess this is that is the shade Cashmere Cream. Let's see the box. This is the box that came out of. No, the shade is Thirsty. This is the box that it came inside. And then for the lip gloss, I used my, um, it's my Ray Ray lip gloss. And this is the box that it came in. I got these boxes, y'all. It's like, it's very pretty. Uh, rose gold and mauve a blush pink. It's, it's very pretty. Um, and this is in the shade rosy gray. So that's the lip combination I had on. Of course, it was very, it was a little bit more pigmented before I did the intro, but I had a little something to drink. But anyhow, um, I did my brows with mascara. I purchased this mascara in a CVS where I am, and they come in a set of three, and I want to say they were like eight bucks. Um, yeah, 
it's not good for mascara at all. If you see it, don't pick it up. It doesn't. It has no payoff for mascara whatsoever. As you can see, I use it on my brows, and then I use another brow gel on my brows to get this. So it has nothing for nothing for the mascara. I tried it on my eyes before, and I didn't get anything. And I was quite frustrated, so I just said, you know, instead of finding another way to use it, what else can I use it for, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I decided to use it for my brows. Um, I guess you could call this a chit-chat, get ready with me, or whatever you... I went into Ulta yesterday, guys, and I was looking for the Carmi Michaels palette. Have you guys seen it? Oh, it's so pretty, so so pretty. Um, I'll probably have a picture of, of it at the top somewhere, so you guys can see it. Um, but they didn't have it because I guess it's uh, what did she say? I was talking to one of the customer service, one of the ladies in there, and she said it's on a, a hard order. If that makes sense to you guys, a hard order to where only the company that the product was made through carries it so I don't know anyway I was going to do a Ulta haul for you guys it was only two items that I got but um, I was disappointed with one of the items that I got and I'm, I'm honest with you I'm thinking <laughs> I've never taken makeup back before but I'm so 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 really thinking about taking this back I'm not even kidding with you like I'm I'm going to have to look on my receipt and find out the rules because I don't know. That's just how disappointed I am with this palette. But anyway, I asked her for the Carmi Michaels palette, okay, guys? Now, we all understand that this palette is, what, five, six days old, a week old tops. And she said they didn't have it. I said, okay, well, that's fine. Can you direct me or can you show me somewhere that, you know, has a good shade range, the same shade range as his palette? She tells me, okay. Well, I get excited because I'm thinking I'm getting ready to see something. You know what I mean? Y'all, what she showed me was this. Okay. And I want to take it back. I want to take it back so bad to where... I really almost couldn't sleep that way because why well, I asked you for a palette that recently came out but then you direct me to a three year old palette like help me somebody am I the only one anyway I'm gonna see what the rules are we're taking this back I'm really highly 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 thinking about taking it back I'll show y'all the palette matter of fact let me show y'all I'll even the look that I attempted to come up with. I'll have it. I have it up here. Yeah, I will. So you guys can see. But um that look didn't even work out. I had to get my ColourPop pigments to put on my eyes um in place of the eyeshadow that did not pop up from this palette. Like if you see it, run from it. Okay, um, if you are a woman of color and you see this palette, leave it there. Do you understand me? Do not pick it up or you're going to be frustrated. Let's go inside. Cause, and I'm really, that's how you know I'm upset because this video has nothing to do with this palette. This video is about this look and this palette. This palette. But this is the one that she showed me from me. Ulta yesterday. This is yesterday and I picked this up yesterday and I'm going to show you guys, okay, how bad and how much I had to dig into the pan to get a payoff and still didn't get it. Beautiful shade range, okay? Very pretty. Um, Like I said, I asked her to direct me to somewhere that is almost like the Carmi Michaels new the Carmi new palette. Okay, um, you yeah, guys seen Carmi's new palette? 
my fault for not going for not doing my research but I was really I was really expecting Ulta to have the palette so I didn't think I had to do all the extra shenanigans but I see I have to and I'm going to because this palette was 15 bucks um it's not a lot you know what I mean it's I know so many more pigmented palettes that are like three bucks cheaper than that. You know what I mean? And I could get what I'm looking for. I can't get it in here. I cannot. Okay, we'll do a swatch. That's a brown, okay? And that is the only matte brown in this palette. And it almost... Y'all, don't make me tell y'all what this brown looks like. <sighs> anyway. We're going to do another swatch. Let's do a swatch of the colors that I tried to use yesterday. This one. Pretty swatches. That's why I don't like swatches, y'all. That's why I do not like swatches. They are so inaccurate. See that? I wish it showed up on my eyes. I wish this would have showed up on my eyes yesterday, but it did not. Oh, this one. Beautiful. Pretty colors, okay? If you're looking for anything to pop, if you're looking for pigment, it's, this is not the palette, okay? This this is not the palette. It does not give you pigment. It does not give you payoff, okay? Um, and I use my feet in space on this bad boy, so you know. You know. Anyway, guys. I'm done talking about this palette. I'm going to try to do what I can with it. Um, I'm really, really, really thinking about taking it back. If I make this call to Ulta and, you know, I'll let you guys know what the conversation is. Because I know I'm not the only one out there who wonders, you know, what the stipulations are with taking makeup back. Because we all know as makeup addicts, uh, MUAs, um, what have you. You don't want to take anything back that has that you've been digging in or anything like that because you don't want to get it. You know, it's, it's nasty. But this is shameful. Y'all would like to see how I came up with this look and not using that palette but my BH and neutrals and blush palette. Keep a watching. Oh, oh, oh. You guys have heard me rant. You guys have heard me chit chat and everything. But if you have not subscribed, I need you to do that right now. Anyhow, deuces.